Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> I actually. Now we are awakening the perverts. Oh god, it's you. Hmm? Hi. How are you? Now close your eyes. What's going on guys? My name is Vlusel and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, part 41. In the last episode, we finished up our depths exploration video. And so in this one, or starting from here, we'll be beginning our journey to Death Mountain. But before we head to Death Mountain itself, there are two places we need to visit, which is uh, Terry Town over here and uh, the Robbie's Ancient Tech Lab, both of them in the Akala region over here. And so yeah, we'll be making a quick little detour getting the, to those two locations. So, let's go. Let us begin. So we are nearing the Odin region on the cusp of Death Mountain itself. And so we see a tower here close nearby. And so before I go activate that tower, let, I see a stable here. And uh, this might be the woodland stable that we need. And so I'm just going to activate it. And I think I see our boy Kilton over there too. So there's a lot to uh, see here real quick. All right, yeah, woodland stable. Definitely the place. All right, dude, this place is much bigger than I... It was in Breath of the Wild, right? All right, so here in Woodland Stable, we should find... Oh, here they are. Yeah, the troop. Looks like Penn's talking with them. All right, mind going through it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened that night when the Great Fairy hid herself away? Hmm. Well, we had our accident here one awful night, sometime after the upheaval. We saw the Great Fairy nearby, vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got on our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped down in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. No. But the real tragedy, that involved mo one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to, per to performances. For us. Mm. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. No. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the Great Fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Mm. Whatever reasons the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought our performance would cheer her up. Mm. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or, or our instruments there. Mm. And the one who caused all of this was a blonde-haired woman, you say? Hmm. Could that have been... Oh. oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near the stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. Mm. My reporter instincts are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Ah. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure, we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the great fairy first. Uh, okay. Alright, so with these guys, it looks like they just need some new wheels and a horse. So we'll probably have to catch a horse for them sometime soon. Let me go ahead and just fix up their wheels. And I'll probably come back on my own time and uh, catch them a horse. Alright, there we go. Good as new. Oh, I see. We can take them to the Great Fairy. Nice, okay. Alright, so yeah, we, we fixed up their wagon. So I think we just need to equip Kaze with the towing harness. So yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Nice, beautiful. All right, let's go. All right, we're here. Thank you. We can take it from here. All right, Mastro, lead us into the performance. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop must play with all the heart we can for the Great Fairy.
Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> I actually. Now we are awakening the perverts. Oh god, it's you. So she moved from... Uh, is that that's Mario, bro? What the heck? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Behold, Violin, the great fairy graces us with her presence. Ah. Truly divine. Hi. Oh. Well, look at this. You really helped out here, partner. I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So this is a great fairy. Mm. Ah, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land, and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. Mm. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. Hmm. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda? I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. Hmm. We've worked together to chase four of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Bro, I thought he said my pay would be getting better with each job. What the heck, Pen? You're freaking screwing me out of this. And just one other thing. Tracy sent along a bonus for all our hard work. Yes! Aye, right, nice, nice, let's go. Ah. That's pretty rare gear that'll make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach new heights, partner. Okay, I'm gonna take the story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. Ah. So long. All right. So we've got, oh, got more dialogue. Maestro, I think the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. <laughs> Violin, that wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other the other great fairies also are hiding away in their buds. <sighs> I bet if you, I mean, we play music for them, that cheer them up too. Yeah, yeah. A brilliant idea, and you know that, and you know what that calls for: reuniting our troupe. The Stable Trotters. <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but uh, just you wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's herd you the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Nice, okay. So yeah, we can just go to the other stables where the other ones are. I think I, I should have them stamped where they are. Mm hmm? Hi. How are you? I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know? Huh? You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as sacred as I was to come out of hiding. Oh, she marks them for us. Nice. Mija is near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in West Nakluda. Mm hmm? I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? Huh? With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, let's do it, man. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for this. We desperately need some upgrades here. Yeah, we might as well upgrade the Hylian set here. Let's go ahead and do it, though. Mm. Let's see if she's got some new animations. Oh. Now close your eyes. <sighs> Alright. Same one, okay? Pretty sure things are gonna get a little zesty as we keep on moving on. Nice, there we go. All right, I went ahead and upgraded a few uh, clothing items, but yeah, that'll do it for this great fairy. And uh, I was trying to say before uh, the whole dialogue started with her and our crew, is that she, uh, this is the same one that was from, uh, the Gerudo Desert. And so their buds have moved. Because we went, or I was exploring the Gerudo Desert on my own time. And I went to the, the location where she would be. And, uh, there should have been one of the great skeletons there too, but it wasn't there. 
And so it's surprising to see that they move. But man, it is super helpful that they are now marked in this game. I'm glad that I don't have to mark them with these stars anymore. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and activate this shrine at the stable. And then we will move on to activating the tower. And we should have some more time left to uh, make our way to the Akala region. All right, should be good. And yeah, we see something over there. What the heck is that? Uh, okay, let me mark that shrine. <laughs> That's... What the heck? All right, here we are. Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. Oh, it looks like the blast cap is blown off. Ooh, okay, more repairs. Hello there. So you came to see the Skyview Tower too. It's a bit, it's a bit late to be working, isn't it? Uh... Sorry, everything around here is a bit of a mess. What's going on? A big chunk of old ruins fell from the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. Ah. And knocked off the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. That means the hole at the top is open. And that's not a, that, that's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck too. Ah. Let's see, maybe if you use the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without a way to get inside, we're kind of stuck. Oh god, is this another way? I think I have to find a cave. Alright, give me a second, guys. Oh, I see how we get in. Okay. There's a, I was wondering why there's so many falling rocks here. And so what we have to do is go in from the top. All right. All right, this should be good. And uh, it looks like we've got a nice set of islands up in the sky here, too. So definitely a good place to explore once we get the chance to. Let's go ahead and drop in. Oh, my God. Holy crap. I thought we were going up. <laughs> it was such a weird optical illusion. Nice, there we go. Huh, weird. <laughs> Why'd those doors open by themselves? Oh. oh, I was right. Using the terminal did open the door. Thank you, that was a big help. Ah. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. I guess the lid doesn't even matter. All right. Wow, look at that, man. There's a shrine right there, too. Dude, all right. Nice. Look at that, dude. Oh, my God. Yes. That looks like a chasm at the peak of Death Mountain, and it looks so weird now, to, like, now, without all the lava on the map, with all the uh, dried up spots where the lava should be. Very, very strange. And it looks like we don't have that many sky islands to explore in the Elden region here, or at least this region of the map. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Like, you, ordinarily, the whole place would be glowing. So yeah, we see the Master Sword, uh glyph over there and we should see also yeah poor pad right there all right so we we can actually get this uh this episode too all right well uh i guess whoa just another shooting star hey i got it <laughs> nice all right well i guess let's just watch this blood moon when the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land the aimless spirits of slain monsters return flesh. The world is threatened once again. Alright, there we go. So let me go ahead and land on these uh, little tiny sky islands, because there are two chests here. And so yeah, once I loot these, we will head down to the Puripad Glyph. Alright, nearing the glyph here, and we can already see the tier. I'm sure this one will be a early one. I kind of I kind of want to see the early ones, too. I've been seeing most of the aftermath of uh, the Demon King. Thank you, Tulin, for doing that.
It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes. Whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means... If you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and... ...a forbidden act called Draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. One blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future. Though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. Okay. <gasps> All right, interesting. All right, so we got more on uh, Minoru. And so, yeah, looks like they... Still trying to figure out how to get actually Zelda back to our time. And so that's, I mean, we already knew about this, but Zelda contains or has the power of light and time. But the, the secret stone chose to amplify the time aspect. I wonder why. All right. So, yeah, we found another tier and now we just need to find one more, which is the Master Sword one. But then besides that, we still have so many more to find. We have this one, the first one, and then we have 11. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we still have a lot more memories, which I don't know how we get exactly. <laughs> so we'll see. I, I should, I mean, the game should tell us once we get our final glyph. Maybe Impa will let us know. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Oh, and then, and then Ganondorf shows fealty. What the heck? Bro, you just assaulted the king of Hyrule and then you, what? All right, so yeah, I'm thinking uh, we, we just did the tier and we are close to Death Mountain. And so I didn't realize Akala or the Akala region is right here. But Terrytown and the Ancient Tech Lab are much further away, which would probably be a whole nother episode of traveling and actually getting to them. And so since we're already near Death Mountain, 
I say next episode, let's just head up there to Goron, uh, to the Goron City, and then we'll we'll deal with this phenomenon and uh, complete this dungeon, and then after that, we'll have uh, all regional phenomena complete, and then we will uh, head to Akala and then see what the new main thing is to do after that. With the, uh, yeah, but with all that out of the way, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.